Good morning, motherfuckers. It's, uh... Angel, what time is it? It's 9.15 on Tuesday. I'm tired. I didn't sleep very good. But I did get some sleep. Um, no coffee yet. Ice water. Me and Angel woke up. Oh, I woke up and then woke her up. And we went down to the fucking corner store to go get some coffee and energy drinks and shit. And uh, I guess we're awake before the rest of the fucking world. So we got to wait for everyone else to wake up because they're not open. And then we went to the second the second store uh, to go get a Venom. And I tried to, uh, a Venom is an energy drink. Um, I tried to pay with a 50 and they're not having it. So, FTW, fuck the world. Um, what I wanted to talk about today real quick was the paradox of progress. Um, for some reason, uh, so the paradox of progress goes like this. It's like, for some reason, you know, if you look at it on paper, the world is going better than it ever has. Uh, women's rights are um, uh, better than they ever have been. Uh, we're moving faster and faster towards technology, towards a better world, towards evolution. We're trying to, we're, we're becoming more aware of shit, like the, pop, uh, the pollution in the air. The climate change. We're becoming we're we're becoming researchers of all kinds of shit. Quantum physics. Um, just we're we're making advances in science. Um, we're making advances in te technology. We're making advances as people. Period. But the fucked up thing is, depression is hitting an all time low. Well, not only is depression hitting an all time low, depression is hitting an all time low towards younger generations. The younger they are, the it's like it's like the uh, millennials are becoming depressed, and that wasn't even a thing back in the day. And it seems like the more progressive we get, productive we get. Welcome to Productive Street Trash, by the way. The the more productive we get, the the worse off we are. And I have a little fucking theory that goes like this: ignorance is bliss. The less you know, the better. Um, with all this information coming into humans, I think we start to realize how uh, unimportant we really are. Um, now, this can be depressing as shit. Um, because if you think about it, we're just cosmic dust waiting to evaporate. Um, we hold really... We hold, like, values really important. We hold rights really important to us. We hold, we have a lot of values and a lot of morals and a lot of beliefs that are really important to us, but really they're not fucking important when you come down to it. Because everyone on the world and the planet is going to die. That's inevitable. Um, and when they die, it, that's it. You know what I mean? You're just you're cosmic dust. And I think, I think with that information... We kind of start to get that 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 depressive like mind that mindset like how how okay I read this I read this book and it said uh, three things to feel important you need community control and values um, now community is you know of course it's pretty obvious community is you finding importance not only in yourself but in your community. And people around you, and you want to watch people get better and better and better and better. I use the uh, metaphor of uh, uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov. He, uh, when he fights people, he wants to see everyone do good. He wants to see you do good. He was cust he was covering up Dustin Poirier's eyes in the fight, so that Dustin Poirier would stop looking in his corner, and stop asking his corner questions. Think for yourself is what Khabib's message was. Um, and I think that's a huge piece is uh, control. Um, if you, uh, community, I mean, and then control, 
Uh, if you don't feel like you have any fucking control of your life, you're not going to try very hard to control your life. Um, for those of you on probation, those of you on parole, those of you in an in a abusive relationship with your friends, family, whoever, um, it kind of feels like there, it, it's a, you're just kind of floating through life. If you have no control, you have nothing. Um, and then, of course, values. Um, and if you got no fucking values, then what are you doing? What are you doing? Um, and that's a real question. You gotta ask yourself that. What do you fucking value? What do you value? You know, I value community. Um, I got asked a question yesterday by somebody very special to me. And she said, do you think you're codependent on your friends? And I said, you know, I don't know about that. Um, I think I might be. I think I might be codependent on a lot of things, though. I think I'm codependent on um, my community. I think I'm codependent on um, her. I think I'm codependent on um, my my fucking technology. Uh, I have to have a podcast going before bed. Uh, but what I'm trying to get at is that... Uh, <coughs> Though, 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 it, it, though codependency can be looked at as a negative thing, I think it does have its benefits. Now, it is unhealthy, especially if you're finding, if you're finding all those three things, values, community, and control. If you're finding those three things in a person, it's not, it's, it's okay, it's alright, I've been there, done that, but... It's not healthy because those pers- that person is flawed because they're, they're, they're a person. They're a human being, just like you are. So if you're a human and you're listening to this, you're flawed. Sorry, I mean, the bear bad news here, but you're flawed. So you're putting these, un- you're putting these unreachable, putting these unreachable bars over someone's head, expecting, oh, there we go, there we go. Expecting, you're, you're putting these high expectancies and expectations on on somebody who's very flawed, and it's not fair. It's not fair, and it actually could roll, ruin a lot of relationships. It actually could fuck up a lot of shit. Um, but that's okay. Just know that's where you are right now. That's all right. You'll get through it. Drink my water. Um, mm, paradox of progress. Uh. It just, you know, more, the ignorance is bliss. The more you know, the worse off you are because you start to realize how unimportant shit is. But flip it. Get into the little kid mode. Get into your little, your, uh, just make some shit up. Be imaginative. Make up a little world. Um, I got a buddy of mine right now who's going through some shit. And, uh, he's, he's getting, he's, he's political. Um, he's struggling with, uh, He's struggling with just a lot of different things, and uh, I told I told him I told him just make just make some shit up, just make believe that you're uh, uh, I I don't know how to I mean don't get stuck in that paradox of progress. Don't get stuck in that information is too much, and, and don't look at the world like it's in, inevitable. You're fucked no matter what. The universe is just gonna keep on going even when you pass on, and, because you are important and you could fucking make a difference. You could. Um, it, it might be daunting to look at. It might be a little difficult to look at when when you're in a sober house like this and you're you're you know maybe a month sober and you can't even fucking you ain't got enough value in yourself to shower. Um, you know, that's where I was for a while. Um, and then I got to look at, I got I to gotta be able to go from that to looking at, I can make a difference in the world? Nah, it's a little, it's a little far-fetched. So just, just little baby steps, little fucking baby steps. Um, waking up and saying, I can make a difference in somebody else's life. See, now what I did was, that's where that codependency comes in. And that's where I think it's healthy because... What I was doing was I wasn't waking up and finding any type of value in myself. So I wouldn't do anything to make myself better. But I was finding value in other shit, in other things. My daughter, my, uh, my mom, my family, my friends. Uh, 
all kinds of shit. And, you know, Angel was a big piece of that too. She was, uh, you know, always pushing me to strive towards what I could be and always reach my potential. And uh, a lot of people were always doing that, but I just didn't find any type of value in myself. So I would find value in other shit, but then when I would find, like, like, like for example, I'd find value in this house as a, as, a, as, a, as a thing. This house is a thing. So I would wake up and I would take out the trash, and when I would get up and I would take out the trash, the house manager would see me take out the trash, and he'd give me a pat on the fucking back, literally. Pat on the back saying, good job, dude, I'm proud of you. Because he's seen where I was a month ago. And then he sees where I am now. And he sees that little, that little, that little stretch of me trying. At least he's taking the garbage out. Good job, bro. That pat on the back. Then, what that does, good job, bro. Pat on the back. That does, that puts value inside of me. He just took value, said good job, put it into my head, making me believe that I'm important. So I smile, said thanks bro, made some food, cooked that food, ate that food. I felt good, went up, I showered, because I felt good. Little fucking baby steps, guys. Don't get stuck in the paradox of progress. Um, don't get sucked into depression. It's easier said than done. If you are depressed and you are taking, look, if you're on meds, keep doing your shit. Keep doing your thing. Um, I don't take medication. I, I'm a huge. <clears throat> I don't. I don't. I just don't. I don't take meds. They you, were. They were giving me meds at a young age, and it kind of fucking. It made me out of whack. Uh, and I didn't like them. They didn't make me feel like myself. So, but if if they, hey, if they fucking work for you, keep doing your damn thing. I'm not gonna tell you not to take your meds because uh, I'll have a bunch of fucking psychopaths knocking on my door saying, thanks bro, thanks bro, covered in blood and shit. Um, uh, so, yeah, baby steps guys. Don't fucking give up on yourself. Uh, if it's positive, it's positive. If it's not, it's not. If it's a weakness, eliminate it. Eliminate all weaknesses. Easier said than done. I still smoke cigarettes. I still uh, have a crutch on weed. I still have a crutch on alcohol. I still, all kinds of shit. I got a crutch on all kinds of shit. Uh, but just having the attitude of eliminating weakness and doing the best you can and find value in yourself or find value in something where you're gonna get up and you're not gonna give up on yourself because what it comes down to is I'm so tired of friends dying. I'm so tired of friends dying. And my friends are dying from drugs. Nothing fucking else. Nothing else. My friends are dying from drugs. Which means my friends don't like their life. That's what drugs are, guys. They're an escape from life. Why do you need escape from life? Because you don't like life. I'm tired of my friends dying. Stop. Dying. Stop doing drugs. Life can be good. It can get better. And it will get better as long as you put the effort in. I'm not going to tell you to go do a fucking Hindu prayer and do line up your fucking chakras and everything's going to be straight and narrow. No. Get the fuck up. Find value in something and love it to death. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on anyone else you love. If you don't love yourself, love everyone else around you. Find something, dude. Find a dog. Find a fucking bird. Something, dude. Anything. But don't give up. Don't stop. Ever. Because I'll be pissed. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm going to uh, sign out here. Uh, Productive Street Trash. Like and subscribe to those videos. Leave your comments. Let me know how you guys are doing out there. Uh, love you guys. And fucking keep your chin up. Don't stop.